I'd show you how to make baked potatoes in the pressure cooker. Having a simple dinner of salad and baked potatoes tonight. So I've rinsed off a couple potatoes and I'm just going to poke a couple holes in there to let some steam escape. Quick and easy. And I have this lovely um, sort of silicone basket thing with a little connector um, that I got at Kohl's the other day, so it makes it easy. I put a cup of water in the bottom, I'm going to close the lid, and set this to no venting. Add my little minion friend, you'll see what he does when we get done. Then I'm going to go and set this to manual. And in about eight or 10 minutes, if you have really large potatoes, I'd probably go a little longer. Uh, so we will set that for 10, it'll come on to on here in a second or two, there it goes. So now we'll just wait for it to come up to pressure and go from there. So I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. 10 minutes have elapsed and then I let it go another nine minutes of natural release. So I'm gonna turn my little minion friend and well, we're already done. We did a full natural release instead, but that won't hurt it. But it's really cool when you do a quick release because all the steam comes out of his little eyeballs and down below his pants and it directs it away from your countertops. So let's check and see if we have... Uh, nope, they need a little more time. So we're gonna plug this back in. And I'll get it sealed up. Hey, all right, we're gonna try this a second time, and you get to see the venting of. Isn't that cool? And it doesn't get up under your cabinet and ruin any kind of food. We don't want any of that. So anyway, yeah, uh, clear it out, and uh, they're done. They're soft. Then you know they're done, and they're good to go. I'm ready for yummy baked potato. So y'all have a great evening. Bye.